the nine o'clock news came on and I heard that another Canadian soldier had been killed. They said on the news that the family was not releasing the name. I was certain that because no one called me, no one had my permission to not release his name, therefore it was not my son. And I pulled in at 8.30 and hands came walking across the pavement. He got in the car with me and I just beat on him and said, you tell me Andrew's in Germany. And through his tears, he just said, I can't. Can you tell us a bit about what it means to be supported by the various military causes that are supported through, for example, the great work that Sean Francis, Michael Burns, Julie Fotherham, and others have done setting up True Patriot Love. This event, which is gonna feed a number of military causes, we're gonna direct all of the funds through True Patriot Love. Can you tell us a bit about what your exposure and experience has been in terms of dealing with some of the causes that support people who've gone through the absolute horror of losing someone? To see how the Canadian public were starting to support the military, to see how the military itself was paying attention to the families and the support that is needed is phenomenal. If the family can stay strong, then that military member can stay strong. So all the support that can be given is huge. Good evening, everyone. My name is Warren Spence, and I'm your mission co-commander today. And this is my fellow mission co-commander, Mr. Brett Wilson. We're thrilled about tonight's turnout and about the amount of money, uh, but particularly about the number of people and the attention and awareness uh, that is going to be showing not just here in Vancouver, but across the province of BC, about the great work that our men and women are doing, uh, both abroad and here domestically. We've been scheming for several months about how we could remember and honor the one year anniversary of the Vancouver Olympic Games. We had the most successful Olympic outing that we've ever had. We won more gold medals than any other country. But it wasn't just the success of the athletes. It was the spirit of the country and it was the safety and security of the games. And that's where the military comes in. I would like to invite up to the stage now Shane Coison. Define Canada. You might say the home of the Rockets or the Great One, who inspired little number nines and little number 99s. But we are more than just hockey and fishing lines off the rocky coast of the Maritimes. And some say what defines us is something as simple as please and thank you. And as for your welcome, well, we say that too. But we are more than genteel or civilized. We are an idea in the process of being realized we are young. We are cultures strung together then woven into a tapestry and the design is what makes us more than the sum totals of our history. We are an experiment going right for a change. With influences that range from A to Z and yes we say Z instead of Z. We are the brightness of Chinatown and the laughter of little Italy. We dream so big there are those who would call our ambition an industry because we are vineyards of good year after good year. We reforce what we clear because we believe in generations beyond our own. Knowing now that so many of us have grown past what we used to be, we can stand here today filled with all the hope people have when they say things like someday. Because we are more than a laundry list of things to do and places to see. More than hills to ski and countryside ponds to skate. We are the abandoned hesitation of all those who can't wait. We are first-rate greasy spoon diners and healthy living cafes. A country that is all the ways you choose to live. A nation that can give you variety. Because we are choices. We are millions upon millions of voices shouting keep exploring. We are more. We are the surprise the world has in store for you. It's true, Canada is the what and what's new. So don't let your luggage define your travels. Each life unravels differently and experiences what make up the colors of our tapestry. We are the true north, strong and free. And what's more is that we didn't just say it, we made it be. Gentlemen, you're here tonight 
indeed in support of the men and women of Canadian Forces, but importantly for their families. I believe that the men and women of Canadian Forces today take a back seat to no one. Man for man, woman for woman, ship for ship, aircraft for aircraft, battalion for battalion, they're as good, if not better, than anybody else in the world. Can't mention our men and women in uniform without mentioning the families, because they are one and the same. Shannon Tweed is here. I'm a huge fan of Shannon Tweed. Thank you. Round of applause, Shannon Tweed and Gene Simmons. I grew up watching your movies. You guys are going to get to eat pretty soon off of these lovely plates that Brett and Warren have provided. We serve buffet style. General Natinchuk served meals to his entire section. We had some of the most memorable moments that I could have imagined. I like my Stairmaster because before you can even start on it, it says enter your age between 10 and 100. Really? Stairmaster? 100? That's where we're capping it? Let me tell you something, people. If you make it to 100, you don't have to work out ever again. You can die at 100. On behalf of the men and women of the Canadian Forces and all their families, I thank you so much for your support. I thank you for what you're doing here tonight. I thank you for what you do each and every day. Hey, man. I think you should work out. Hey, man, I'm 100, okay? Because of your leadership, John, what I'd like to be able to present to you is the most significant honor that the Canadian Forces can bestow upon a civilian. I could stand here all night and wouldn't be able to offer appropriate thanks, but I'm incredibly grateful for this. We give thanks for family. We give thanks for friends. We give thanks for our Canadian Forces. We give thanks for this food. And lastly, we give thanks for our freedom. We are together to enjoy this amazing event because tonight, somewhere in the world, there are Canadians on the front line. Please join and pray to the God of your choice for the safety of Canadians everywhere. And remind ourselves that even heroes need heroes. Amen. We had a live auction. We probably raised $150,000 in 20 minutes. I've never been given a $20 bill for dancing on stage before, but I'll take it. I'm extremely proud how tonight went. The live auction was, was great. Well, we're going to start this one by asking the Fraser Blues to come up on stage with us. Who wants to go to Vimy Ridge? Shannon Tweed, would you mind coming up? I'll autograph you anything you want. No, or initial it, depending on how big it is. 15,000 is a beautiful number. Thank you very much. And then Gene Simmons came on and he auctioned off access to all sorts of things he's doing. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gene Simmons. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everybody. Let me hear you! Watches Gene Simmons Family Jewels. Anybody that wants to be on the show, I want 10 grand. You give me 10 grand, you will see your face around the world. We have just lost control of the event. Losing my breath.